Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Today I brought me some lip products from a brand that caught my interest recently. So I'll take some time to introduce the products and show you a swatch of all the colors as well as provide some recommendations. Moss Air Matte Rouge. Released in a total of 8 colors, all with a silver metal case. With Moss's signature design, the silver metal case is said to be a new item that captures the passage of time and will never go out of fashion. The case design has a seemingly simple yet luxurious feel to it. With their brand Moss engraved at the center, the rich colors of these lipsticks are said to have been inspired by mysterious and sensual objects through Moss's unique perspective for their timeless collection. They're said to have a light matte texture with transparent, woody colors that glides on smoothly with a pleasant matte finish. But I personally felt that it applied very moisturizingly as it melts and seemed to have a smooth finish rather than matte. In addition, they're said to melt softly onto the lips, only leaving behind a moist light finish of long-lasting beautiful colors. The bright colors are said to apply on moistly and smoothly without clumping and to fit in with the color as they appear. I did a smear test since they're said to have just the right amount of moisture that barely smears. When doing a smear test with a tissue, I could see that there was a lot of smearing at first, gradually smearing less thereafter. The color remained on the lips feeling as if only a bit of moisture had been removed on the outside. Layering the lipstick on top for a touch-up, I'm able to see how it applies on smoothly and evenly. Mosses on transparent colors enable free color expressions look pretty when applied by itself in gradation or full lip, but when used in combination, the colors seem to be usable as either a base or a point in a variety of ways. When just wiping off with a wet tissue, I'm able to see that a bit of color remains, but only enough to be removed with cleansing water so the staining is not strong. Like this, I've introduced Moss's Air Matte Rouge lipsticks, and now let me show you the swatch of all the colors by applying them on my lips. 101 Infusion Coral This is said to be a lively salmon coral color with a paradoxical charm. It feels warm but muted, so I think it's a good color for warm tone people to use as daily. One or two plum orchid. Like a drop of plum onto a deep rose, this is said to be a timelessly elegant color created with a mix of elegant plum and delicate rose. It's a color that literally feels like a plum on deep rose, and I would like to recommend it to those with cool tones who looks good with deep colors. One or three ripe mulberry. This is said to be a dark red burgundy with a hint of plum that is said to intensely express ripeness with an addictive plum color and essential burgundy. It's a deep plum color that goes well with winter, so I personally think it will suit cool tones very well. 104 Prime Peach This peachy basic beige is said to be a softly vibrant, transparent peach base color that harmonizes with everything. The color feels slightly salmon and seems to be a good color for warm tone people and also seems to work as a good base color for all tones. 105 Rose On this is said to be a subtly atmospheric Marsala Rose. It's said to be an LLB color that can be used at all times with no reason needed. The color gives off a dry vibe, so I think it's muted too, but I feel that it will suit people with muted cool tones. 106 New Wave Red This is said to be a crimson orange that has that bloom vividly like petals and full bloom with a touch of red. Since it's a very bright orange red color, I think it can bright the skin for warm tone people. 107 Tinge Rose This is said to be a pinkish rose color with a hint of coral. The color is said to be like that of a shy coral hidden among pink roses. The colors seem to be much pinker than I thought, so it's a color that will suit warm tones well. 108 Red Fair This is said to be a warm, all-time red color that is considered to be an eternal symbol of a standalone classic color. Red in itself, it's slightly blue and feels kind of deep, making it a color that seems to suit cool tones well. Along with the swatch of the colors of Moss's Hermes Rouge lipsticks, I also gave some recommendations on which tone would go well with which colors. Since there are colors that are good as a base and pretty colors as points, I'll finish the video by giving you some color combinations that I personally liked. As I showed you in this swatch, 101 Infusion Coral and 104 Prime Peach are good colors to be used as base, so I went with these two as a base. To start off, I think 101 Infusion Coral seems to go well with 103 Ripe Mulberry, and since they kind of feel warm yet cold, I think this color combination will suit all tones. 
104 Prime Peach seemed to go well with 106 New Wave Red, which feels warm yet has a face brightening effect, so I think this color combination will suit those with warm tones. Like this, I also gave some color combination recommendations. Being a brand that I've been seeing a lot, this is my first time reviewing them. I really like the texture, colors, and all that. I found both the bright colors and deep colors to be very pretty, and among these colors, my favorites were 101 Infusion Coral and 103 Ripe Mulberry. What color did you like the most? Let me know down below in the comments. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.